Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Biggie. Today we're going to be looking at my latest acquisition into my collection. And this is the Bell & Ross BR0392 Blue Stainless Steel Diver. This watch is just simply fantastic. I was looking for something different. Um, of all the divers out there, um, you know, I like a lot of dive style watches and pilot watches. And I wasn't really aware of this watch being on my radar. But once I saw it, I just had to have it. I actually was going to get uh, Tudor Pelagos, but this beat it out. This was just much cooler of a watch. I mean, it, it simply was. The watch is fantastic. Now, let's just start off with what drew me to this. Now, it was a square watch. It was different. Um, and, and I like different. I like things that are obscure, uh, things that are conversation pieces. And this watch is def definitely, definitely one of them. And with this weird shape for a diver and this watch isn't old it came out in 2017 and um, I believe this this watch is um from 2019 the manufacturer it, it, it's just an awesome uh, piece of kit now I don't know how they did it but they managed squeezing out 300 meters of water resistance out of this square watch and to me that seems like a feat because it seems like it's a lot of places that water can get into this watch. With all these layers, screws, the crown, it just seems like it's not going it, to, it doesn't have a, um, it has a screw down back, but it doesn't have like the, like, you know, the round cylindrical type of screw in case back. This is just held on by four screws. So, Whatever they're using uh, to get the hermeticity up to 300 meters water resistance, that is, is is probably just some sort of awesome technology that these guys have. Now, let's do a quick measurement of this watch. This watch is square. It's um, it's a 42 millimeter watch, but from the crown to the end of the watch, it's about a 46. But the watch is 42 millimeters square, as you can see right there. And then it's not very thick. This watch is only about mm, 11 to 12 millimeters thick. And then the lug to lug is going to be about, about a 51. And as you can see, these straps pull straight down on this watch. Now, since it is a square watch, it fits very, very snug and close to the wrist and my first concern was was a watch like this going to be comfortable and I have to say it is amazingly comfortable I, I really have to say it is now you get this knurled rubber cap on the screw down uh, crown and as you can see right there next to the crown you have if you want to lock the crown you turn it clockwise if you want to unlock the crown you turn it counterclockwise, and these are removable crown shoulders, as you can see. Sign with the Bell and Ross ampersand, and screw in, screw in bars. So you get two little um, uh, hex wrenches with this, so you can change the strap. Strap, and I do have uh, three straps with this: a camo strap and also a nylon strap. But but I like this blue one the best. Now this rubber is extremely pliable and soft and you see it's a 24 millimeter uh, strap and you can go to Bell and & Ross and get different colors to, um, to make this your own like so if, say if you wanted a black strap you can get a black strap straight from Bell and & Ross they're not very expensive and and you can tune it up the way you want to now you have a, a Nice buckle, similar to a Panerai type buckle with the BNR uh, stamp on there. And you also get that on the bracelet. So you get the BNR stamp on this side, and then you get it also engraved here on the bracelet. 
it's real nice and I'll show you what this looks like on my wrist in the loom in a second and you get an anti-reflective coated sapphire crystal 120 click bezel with aluminum insert no back play see that no back play on this one really nice great detent and and I like it now the hands are kind of like a fat syringe style hand you get a date at 430 which is kind of small but you know it's tucked in there I don't really mind it because at least you get your full uh, markers and you you get to keep your symmetry now you get a shock of yellow on the hour hand and on the divers rating down there above the six o'clock in the sea. Now this is all Swiss made and it's powered by um, a 40 hour of autonomy uh, SW200 that's tuned up by Bell and Ross also. Case back is polished on the sides with the um, specifications of the watch uh, engraved in the uh, in the case back and it's really simple just Bell and Ross diver type the number the serial number and um, just a couple other things about the watch let me zoom in show that to you Swiss made water resistance automatic stainless steel so it's, it's a really nice clean back and I like that I'm so glad um, they kept it simple and I like simple Bell and Ross printing under the 12 o'clock indice. The 12 o'clock indice is a, a, a little bit longer than the other ones. Uh, full, uh, fully graduated rehaul inside there for the seconds track. And let's check out the loom on this one. You get a Super Luminova. And this watch looms up really great. It has really great loom. That's going to be your transitional loom. And that's going to be your full dark shot. And as you can see, it is beautiful and it is blazing bright. So... I really, really, really like the style of this watch. Now, I'm going to try it on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. Uh, today, I'm wearing my Emperor, of course. I love my Emperor. That's a, that's the greatest Seiko diver ever made right there, in my humble opinion. And this is what this looks like on my wrist. Now, um, keep in mind my wrist is 7.25 inches, and I like these Bell & Ross straps because you can get them in different different lengths from Bell & Ross, so you don't have that much overhang. You can get it to, to fit your wrist. This is what it looks like on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. As you can see, it is perfection, and this watch is so comfortable, and it fits snug to the wrist with those extremely short lugs. And this watch is just a winner. So if you're looking for something different and it's not a pilot watch and you're looking for a different kind of diver, check out this Bell & Ross Diver Series. They, they have many different um, iterations. They have a bronze case, steel case, uh, ceramic case, just about anything you would want um, material-wise. And they even have some with fully loomed uh, bezels. That, that, that's pretty pretty cool and I'll, they also have a one with a full loom dial so check them out that's the Bell & Ross Diver this is the BR 03-92 my name is Biggie that's the watch once over for today this is a collection highlight and I'll catch you guys on the next video God bless please subscribe and thank you for watching